so let me just explain what we're doing here this is what i what i call the greenhouse lab it's a basically it's a 10 by 10 by 20 10 by 10 10 by 8 structure it's a mini version of the one i'm selling online the reason why i decided to get into this business is because um well into this whole project is because i just couldn't believe that you know growing things required all these fancy things that people talk about in terms of oh we need fruit lawyers or oh we need this and that oh we don't have this but you know i'm telling you i think i'm actually starting to think that uh, uh starvation well not to be just to be politically correct because there's some other issues obviously war and etc but generally speaking on the basic level a person cannot starve when they're able to grow i'm not a farmer myself but um this little jungle that's you know that's happening here is happening simply because we're just trying out a few things and we've already eaten from you know our garden and so forth anyway so basically in here i've got soil pots or soil uh, plastic um, bags uh, i've got a mixture that i've done uh, which basically consists of sawdust uh, stones gravel or gravel is stone and uh, you know some soil and some compost uh, basically to give the roots um, space to maneuver in there and you know get aerated etc uh, it looks like they're doing well obviously there's weeds that come with your compost so you have to remove all that stuff um, then you got um, a couple of bags down I decided to after a failed attempt I decided to replant the uh, green peppers the green peppers, well, we've got a combination of green and yellow. We just decided to put them in these um, cocoa uh, cocoa bags. And um, so far, it's been close to a week, and it looks like they're surviving. Um, we also have, um, to, uh, to my right again, we've got uh, cocoa uh, tomato plants. Mixed varieties, we just buy whatever they're selling. Uh, they they control us. The man is controlling me. So when I get to the shop, um, less than enthusiastic uh, people at the front desk, you know, oh no, we only have nemonata. So you buy the nemonata and you you know you plant it. No, so this is the lab area. As you can see, we're trying to. I personally don't like the cocoa, but the cocoa is. Uh, the tomato is in love with the cocoa <laughs> uh, um, and it's really really you know uh, working out so it's, these plants are slightly yellow um, compared to the other plants I'm assuming that it's the varieties but anyway mixing it up apparently is also good so that you can get um, very good uh, pollination and etc etc although this variety is being green now so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be pollinated but with the fans on I'm hoping that we can get good seeds out of that and no hollow pockets in the yeah this is the soil less uh, portion today these plants really went through a hard time I feel so sorry for them but it looks like they're starting to pick up now I might just water them again this evening uh, after I've taken a, a bit of a break and this is on the bucket system that I'm that I'm trying out um, personally for the you know the, the beginners etc obviously it's easy for the cocoa but you know anything can happen you know but we hope nothing happens but the most efficient way I think is the buckets because you can control a lot of things and you also get to recycle your water when you recycle the water what happens is that it goes back into the reservoir um, that's underground and that uh, captures uh, all the unspent water and energy I guess and then you can you know pump it out uh, another hour another day so in that way you're really really getting maximum benefit over here I've got the um, lettuce in a tray well this method doesn't use um, air or oxygenated air, uh, water from you know fish pumps and things like that this is simply set it and forget it as I would say in those TV commercials and as P Peter Chegoe would say uh, in Kenya or MG uh, MPH Gardener would say you literally just plant this and you're good to go you can if you wanted to for home consumption just chop off the leaves that are ready to eat uh, while the rest of the plant grows 
or instead of traumatizing it just traumatize it at once when it's time to harvest so we're hoping to harvest this in the next 30 days or so mm. the issue of humidity seems to be a big issue when i'm looking at when i'm researching these uh, these uh, methods but um, i'm not sure how i'm going to manage that uh, whether the humidity can be done in the evening or the humidity can be managed in the afternoons because the temperatures in here are just crazy i think i have to redesign uh, this um, this structure and so that we can have humidity in here because humidity does reduce the need for water from the plants it, they don't have to struggle as much and that drooping will probably wouldn't happen now right now they're picking up poor things but they really really sagged this morning they were quite flaccid <laughs> anyway uh that's it for this uh, section um i'm gonna go ahead and uh go to the other greenhouse and show you guys uh, what's happening there well you know sometimes you lose and sometimes you win so as you can see i've got there um some lettuce ready for planting uh you can't keep them in there too long other get they get spindly as i'm noticing so as soon as i'll uh as Stefaza comes back my my help my assistant will probably plant some more lettuce uh in and around these uh these beds here all right thanks for watching guys uh remember to subscribe this is um greenhouse done african style peace